When you first get into trouble, it's a big bravado thing like that when you get nicked by the old girl and you think, oh yeah, I'm one of the boys. You think you're untouchable. But when you do finally go to prison, the reality sets in. At that time, I was a one-man crime wave. At the age of 16, life for Jamie Lawrence was full of promise and hope. Living in South London, Jamie was a footballer of genuine potential. He had trials at a number of leading clubs, but after a while, the subsequent rejections began to take their toll. Till about 10, 16 and that, I was quite good when my mum and dad was here. As soon as they left, I went a bit off the rails. So I went out on the road and I'd done things that I weren't proud of, but they made me the person I am today. Jamie spent the next few years in and out of prison, eventually ending up in Camp Hill Prison on the Isle of Wight after being found guilty of aggravated robbery. It would prove to be the turning point in Jamie's life because it was there that he met prison PT instructor Eddie Walder. Eddie Walder was an absolute legend. And he said to me, listen, I think you can be a pro. And for someone to have that belief in you, it gives you the belief in yourself. And I thought, I've got to give myself the best crack I can at this football game and see if I can make it. At that time, we had quite a good prison side, but Jamie was just that little bit different. As we had more teams in to play against him, we began to realise that he did have a special talent. As a player, he was very strong, good distributor of a ball, but also he would never retaliate. Jamie knuckled down and served his time, with football the focus of all his attention. Whatever you asked him to do, he would do it, because he knew that that was going to lead to him playing football in the prison team, going outside, playing football for cows. And we could tell from that moment onwards, he was going to make it. To their credit, the prison authorities recognised that in Jamie, they had someone whose potential shouldn't be allowed to fester within the confines of a prison cell. Jamie soon found himself playing for, rather than against, cows. Dale Young was the manager of that team. When he came out, some of his performances were phenomenal. He was too good for us. The fact that he could come out for an afternoon, and then when he went back into prison, it made him appreciate what he was missing, really. And he changed Cowes Football Club and improved the performance of our players tremendously. News soon spread of the young Jamaican lad from London, and it wasn't long before Jamie achieved his goal of playing professional football. First time I walked out on a football pitch for Sunderland, they played Jay Last Rock. <laughs> so I was buzzing anyway, you know. I had got out of prison, I was only out three months, and then I'm playing at um, a professional ground. Jamie's footballing journey has seen him play at the very highest level of the game in England, playing for the likes of Leicester City, Wigan and Bradford. Add to that 13 caps for Jamaica. Whilst in prison, Jamie realised he wanted to give something back to the game which had turned his life around. With friend and business partner Carl Samuels, the Jamie Lawrence Football Academy was set up. As well as coaching talented youngsters, the academy also plays a huge social function. We work with young people that are at risk of either being excluded from school or at risk of offending. We work with schools or outside agencies to really try and re-engage young people into long-term education. In this particular borough alone, you know, there were some very serious crimes taking place amongst our young people. Stabbing, shootings, robberies. It does take, you know, a special type of person to work with these type of people. Football is a way of me getting their attention and then I can talk to them about my past life and my experiences. I've become like a father figure and hopefully I can turn their life around. Prison definitely changed Jamie because, you know, I think without the break in his life at that time, I think he would have continued down the slippery slope. And he was fortunate enough to have a skill that was, you know, observed and he was able to come out and, you know, really fulfil his potential. Jamie definitely wants to share the message of his success and to show youngsters that it can be done. And Jamie putting back what he's learnt, I think, is a really wonderful testament to him. This is more rewarding than anything I've ever done in my life. I'm changing people's lives and, and I was one of those kids. You've got a chance and you've got to make it happen. Only you can make it happen. <laughs>